given what we are actually seeing now um, from a global standpoint, a lot of uncertainty, for example, in the Red Sea, uh, we are seeing a lot of uncertainty uh, in West Asia as well. Do you believe that these are um, some of the most fundamental concerns or threats which have gone or perhaps will go in defining what global risks are over the next one year? Yeah, I mean, if we just look at the start of the 2020s, there have been three successive shocks. There's been the shock of the pandemic, there's been the shock of the, the war in Ukraine, and now um, the latest, uh, the conflict in the Middle East. Uh, it's very clear that interstate armed conflict is top of minds of many of the responders. In fact, the survey was completed in September before the outbreak of hostilities, and still interstate armed conflict is number five in the two-year time frame. So people are deeply concerned um, about the geopolitical fractures, but also what does that then mean in terms of the geoeconomic cleavages and how um, countries can continue to trade with each other, how we can continue to have knowledge transfer and technology transfer. So some major concerns when it comes to the spillover of conflict to the economy and what that means for people. So again, if some of this continues, we can expect that shipping prices could rise so high that we again have a new series of inflation starting for which there's very little control.